Welcome to my One Minute to Wow video tutorial. This is Mary Fish with Stampin' Pretty and StampinPretty.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, which means I sell the Stampin' Up! products that I'm going to share with you today, as well as blog daily on StampinPretty.com with lots of card ideas, tag ideas, gifts, um, as well as the latest Stampin' Up! specials and promotions. I recently shared these two tags that are wonderful for the holidays. They can go on a gift, they could go on a bottle of wine, they could go on a, a loaf of bread someone had suggested. Um, so any way to just kind of dress up those special gifts that we give. Um, you can even add these to a card, a very simple card, and you're good to go. But I think the real magic of these is these sweet detailed die cuts. They're from the Hometown Greetings Edgelets dies. Um, I actually used this die as well as this tag topper die. And then for the sentiments, I used a coordinating stamp set called Hearts Come Home. And the stamp set and the dies together, if you purchase them together, you save 10%. I think it's well worth it because there's so many possibilities when you have a coordinated stamp and die set. Um, so let's get started. We're going to actually make this one. I'm going to share with you some tips um, along the way as well. I just think they are just so neat. So I have pre-cut and stamped with this sentiment from Hearts Come Home. It's two inches by two and three eighths. Everything is going to be two inches wide ultimately, including our tag. So this is how I started. Um, it's two inches, I think it's by five. Um, let's just assume it's by five. And I use the tag topper. And I'm going to use, you guys are so special, I'm going to use a new cutting plate because my other ones, it was time. So I have my Big Shot platform, a thin die adapter, a precision base plate, and I'm going to add this little two by five piece of Whisper White cardstock and then my little tag topper. And I'm just going to go right up to the very top and line it up. I like to kind of square everything up so I can just make sure my eye isn't fooling me. And then I'm going to put this on top. Hold it nice and tight. I have my big shot off to the side. You're just going to have to trust me that that's what I'm doing. We just have so much. So many products to share with you, so I wanted to just make sure I had that handy. And you can see that I have this perfect little tag. One um, additional cutie patootie thing that I want to share with you is the little heart. I actually popped that out and I used it on the one with the church. So that's that little red. I use that as the pop out, kind of convenient. And then I also used a layer. This is two by three and a half. Um, and I used the ruffled, it's one of our 3D dynamic embossing folders. It gives this super cool little ridge. Um, you can see it pretty well on here. It's not quite snow, but it kind of suggests some movement. So I thought it was prettier than just uh, leaving it as just straight old cardstock. And so I'm going to use uh, some snail. And I'm going to adhere this. I've got one side I always like just a little more than the other, but that's just a quirky thing. Don't worry about that. And I'm going to just line it up as best I can from an angle. Okay, so that's basically the foundation of our tag. And then I'm going to use this little piece. And you'll see that the die from Hometown Greetings um, has both, flip it this way, this little scene as well as the church and the tree. But you will not be able to just do one of these and cut it in half. You'll just want to do a partial of this direction and you might have to snip a little bit here to kind of give it that line. Oh, I guess it's going to go pretty close. 
um, but the fact that this lays over just a little bit, you'll want to do this one separately. And that's what I did for this one. So I'm going to show you how cool this is. Again, same um, sandwich. I have the thin die, um, the Big Shop platform, the thin die adapter, my precision base plate, which I think is really critical for really, really detailed dies like this. And I am just going to layer this on like this. And I'm centering it. Uh, I centered the sentiment, so I'm actually centering the house and the tree um, over the sentiment. And actually, it's centered pretty much um, on the, the two-inch width. And I'm going to run that through my Big Shot. I guess I can bring it on over. I'll just set it on top of a few things and we'll run it through. This is kind of more important because I want you to know that to get a really good cut, I'm going to run it through and I'm going to bring it back. And I'm going to run it through again. Okay, so those additional passes are going to really help make sure that it cuts well and it's much, much, much easier uh, to get everything out. So I'm going to remove that and set these things aside. And I love my uh, little dye brush. Uh, Stampin' Up! sells these. Um, I'm just going to want to run this in several directions. You're just basically in those. That's what all those little holes are for, to help you pop everything out. Sometimes you might need um, a, and I'm trying to find it, a little paper piercing tool to pop out a few of the extra few of the extra guys, but this makes a big, big difference. I'll just pop those guys out. Sometimes they all come out perfectly and sometimes they're a little, I have to do a little more popping through, but they'll come out. It's well worth it for the details that you get. I think it's actually amazing. So isn't that just the cutest little scene? Oh, quick tip for you. I use a lint roller. Uh, to clean those up. I think it's just quick and easy. I usually flick it in the uh, waste bin first and then I use uh, the lint roller. Um, then another cute and fun little trick is how I created the border and I just used one of the dies uh, from my layering squares dies, uh, one of the uh, scallop squares. So when you're thinking, geez, where are those fun little um, scallop borders from I'm just using I just sort of adjust the size a little bit based on um, the width of the project and I'm just going to come down to right about there so really I just used a little die oh need to zhuzh that a little there now I think it's even. Um, and then I am going to use Stampin' Dimensionals. Um, I'm going to use my minis first. I'm going to put one in the roof. Oh, hello. Doing this from an angle, so it's always a little trickier. Come on, guys. You want to cooperate with me? And then I'm going to put one on the tree. Just fits. I might have to just tuck a little bit from the side in, but it's a lot easier than uh, uh, cutting. And then I'll use the larger Stampin' Dimensionals, the standard size, um, across here. I'll just do a little bit of a pattern to balance it out for you. And then I just think it all comes to life. I love the navy. And the uh, that's actually Bermuda Bay, in case you're wondering. And then I think the real Cadillac. <laughs> I love, we have this gingham ribbon. It's a half inch, really easy to work with in both Smoky Slate as well as Knight of Navy. And I'm using a little more than you probably need, but it makes it so much easier for me when I'm doing the demonstration to have a little bit extra. So I'm going to tie this on the side. And see how I tie a bow, just kind of normal. I'm gonna make a loop, wrap it around, bring this down, and uh, I'm gonna come around. 
That is like the least beautiful bow I've made in ages. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let me just pull on this a little bit and clean it up. I was like, what in the world? So I've got it uh, going that direction and I might play with it a little bit, but for now I'm just going to, boy, that looked scary for a little, for a second there, huh? <laughs> So again, I often, and I want you to know this as well, is I often have to play with my bows a little bit. And if you have to too, it's perfectly fine. I'm probably going to bring this around a little bit. I like it showing. So I might futz with that a little bit, slide it up just a touch. Okay. And we're done. So, oh, no, we're not done. We've got one more super, super, super important thing to do. And I'm going to grab my... Brights enamel shapes. The Cadillac moment is using the Brights enamel shapes and putting this adorable, adorable little heart on. I usually use my snips for this, but I'm just gonna get it together really quick for you. Isn't that just the perfect little touch? That little heart. So thank you for joining me for my one minute to wow video tutorial. I love your comments. If there's a measurement I didn't cover or you have any questions or you just want to say nice things, uh, please leave me a comment on YouTube. I respond usually within a few minutes, uh, but definitely within 24 hours. And I'm more than happy to help you. And of course, you can shop for these products on my blog, stampinpretty.com. Thank you and have a great day. I've got lots more things coming for the holidays. Bye-bye.